I've covered the Evercade Versus on my channel as well as the other products, the Evercade handheld and the various cartridges that go along with these products. In today's video, I'm actually gonna be covering the secret games that are unlocked on the Evercade. That's right, there's actually more games with a combination of button touches as well as a combination of different cartridges, you can unlock an additional seven games. I'm here to unlock seven additional games on your Evercade Versus. I know it's not out yet here in the States, it's gonna come in January, and it's coming very soon to Europe. And so I'm really excited about this product. I think it's a wonderful device that covers lots of retro gaming on multi-carts. What's cool is there's more games that are gonna be announced to be unlocked, and so I'm really excited to see that. So this is a reference guide to get additional seven games on your Evercade Versus. So this is a spoiler alert, so sit back, relax. You may wanna grab some popcorn. Here we go. First up requires Atari Collection 1 and 2. These are great multi-carts that have a combination of 2600 and Atari 7800 games on them, which is kind of cool because that's not offered many other places. You stick both cartridges into the Evercade versus one or two, two or one, it doesn't matter which order, and then? So then you go to the menu where it shows all the games on the cartridges, and you go down and there's an extra game, that's right, Dark Chambers. That's an amazing game to be unlocked as, you know, if you're a fan of Gauntlet and you haven't played this, it's actually based on a precursor to Gauntlet called Dandy. This was released on the Atari 8-bit, Atari 2600, and the 7800 version. This can be a two-player cooperative game, and so it's perfect for the Evercade Versus. There's keys, there's food, there's power-ups, there's treasure, there's enemies, there's enemy generators that you have to destroy. 26 different levels and three difficulty settings. This is an awesome game. As a bonus game, it's even more amazing. It's also important to mention that you can get this game for the Atari VCS, and the Atari VCS is releasing additional Atari 7800 games. Next up, you take the Atari Lynx Collection 1 and 2, a very affordable way of experiencing Lynx games, as you know, Lynx collecting can be expensive. And so you take those two cartridges, you put them in your Evercade Versus, again, it doesn't matter which order, and you go down, and there's an unlockable homebrew game from Yastuna Games, Raid on Tri-City Second Wave, I actually did a whole video on this company and some of the homebrew games that they're offering on the Atari Lynx. And so you may want to check that out as well. And this is a fun little game. It's kind of a combination between like a Tetris style puzzle game and a classic shooter. And so you're, you're destroying blocks and uh, collecting various power-ups that are coming from the top of the screen. You have to kind of take out enemies as well as they, when they appear and you're forming lines, just kind of like a classic Tetris game. It's a lot of fun, it does get very intense. And so I really think this is a cool way for people to experience aftermarket games, and I think it's a great extra bonus. Next up, you take Pico Interactive Game Collections 1 and 2. Same thing, you place them into your Evercade Versus, doesn't matter which order. Once you're on the game menu, you navigate down and you're gonna notice an additional game like the other unlockables that I've shown. And there it is, Pyramids of Ra. If you are familiar with Game Boy games, you will know that this title sounds familiar. It is based on the same gameplay, but it has different music and it's really cool. This is a perfect additional game for this collection and it's really sweet to see uh, these games being offered now there also is a physical version of this game you can get from pico interactive themselves but why not test it here and so this is a straight up puzzle game in which you're trying to clear all the tiles to get to the end and then you go to the next stage there are many many different stages so uh, for people that are straight up puzzle fans you're gonna love this one and i think this is a good bonus game and I find myself playing more and more puzzle games 
I don't know if that's because I'm getting older and it's it's something I'm more intrigued with, but I think this is an awesome addition and definitely worth checking out. Next up, you take the two cartridges shown here. I know the arcade carts aren't out yet, but you take these two carts, insert them in the Versus. This is a neat aftermarket game to be an unlockable. And you go to the title screen, you move over, and there it is, Arcade Rush. And this is a really cool game in which you're trying to take care of an arcade. It also is up to a four player game. It gets pretty crazy fast. And so you are in charge of an arcade and things are breaking down. You have to pull PCBs, you have to clean the arcades. You have to use a soldering iron to repair the PCBs and put them back. And so you have a time limit. You can play this as a single player game. It gets pretty hectic as you're controlling one of two characters, but really the fun is at a four player game. I really enjoy this aftermarket game. It's a lot of fun. I haven't played it before. And so this is just kind of a neat concept and it just shows all the maintenance that is required when you are handling an arcade. I just think it's, it's a great representation in a game mode of that. Very sweet. The next few games are completely unlockable with just a press of a few buttons and you hold L1, R1 and up on the menu screen just like so with no cartridge inserted and then you get this game. That's awesome that the Evercade Versus itself has an unlockable game. Actually it has a few games I'm going to show you. And so this is a very simple aftermarket NES game but it's a lot of fun up to four players too this gets intense super fast and the goal is to get the best time you're gonna die a lot in this game but a lot of fun it's got some cool graphics and simplistic gameplay this would make a great party game and one that's a perfect fit for the verses the next one you just hold L1 R1 and down and you get a completely different game with no cart inserted in your verses. How awesome is that? Two bonus unlockable games without a single cart. Absolutely free if you get a versus. And so the next one is Spacey McRacy. And this is another party style game. Up to four players. Lots of fun. And I think this is just an awesome way of offering a bonus game you know these are aftermarket games and i think they are a lot of fun and a perfect fit as you know the evercade versus is really representing lots of retro gaming across a wide variety of consoles and handhelds and spacey mcracy is a, a game pretty much you're competing against opponents you're trying to win the race also gathering power-ups and different points it can be very challenging. You can take out your enemies. There's different modes and ways of winning each stage. This is gonna get pretty intense fast with your friends and family. And it is just, just a neat bonus game to offer. The next one is a simple combination of L2, R2, and Select with any cart inserted in the Evercade Versus. So that's pretty sweet. This just takes one cart and the combination of button presses shown on the screen and I, I have an Atari arcade cartridge inserted it'll look different on your screen but after the button presses there you go Gotris and this is a new puzzle game released this year very sweet a combination of Go and Tetris into a unique experience I'm not too good at this puzzle game as you know I haven't played a ton of Go I've played a lot of Tetris, but it's just a it's just a mix, a weird combination. I would love to see some competitive playing of this version of a puzzle game, as I think it's pretty interesting. And uh, it's got really nice graphics and uh, sound. I'm playing against the computer, and you have a turn, they have a turn, and you're rotating blocks that compose of different black and white counters, and with the proper combination of counters around a opposite color you then score points there's also counter moves this is this is complex yet very addictive and so i you know i'm not the best at playing this puzzle game but you know i could see people really getting into it and having it as a bonus game you know that's just amazing that's really cool i can't think of 
many different consoles that exist that have these types of bonus games included. If you're interested more about the Evercade Versus or their products, I will include a playlist in the description. There will be additional games that can be unlocked on the Evercade Versus, and they are going to announce that at a later date. Really excited to see what they are doing with this Versus console. It's pretty awesome that there's additional games that you can play. I wanted to make this as a reference guide for people how to easily unlock these. The link will be below to places where you can purchase these cartridges, which are required to unlock some of the games shown in today's video. And so what do you think of the Evercade versus of what you've seen? Is it something you're interested in? Comment below. And what is your favorite game that you saw today? I wanna to thank everybody for the ongoing support. If you like what you see, you may wanna comment below and as always, thank you for watching my videos. I've had a lot of fun doing and covering these products on my channel. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. Thank you so much, and you have a good day.